So eliminate the parameter. Here's the step-by-step -step process you're going to be asked. It's fairly basic. You guys might actually like this. To eliminate the parameter, all we're simply going to do is solve for t. Now, which equation should you solve for t for? Typically, it's easiest to, it's going to be best to solve for t in the x equation. That is not always the case. But typically, we like to solve for t in the x equation because we want to write our equation in terms of y, right? And that's how we understand what an equation is. So if I was going to go ahead and solve this, I'd have x equals 3t minus 3. Add 3 to both sides. I'd have x plus 3 equals 3t. Divide by 3. t equals x plus 3 over 3. Everybody follows me? Which, in reality, is really the same thing as 1 third x plus 3. You guys agree with me? Those are the same. Dividing by 3 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 third? Yes? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace t with what it's equal to. So y equals 2 times, I like using this form than that form. But you could do either one. Those multiply, y equals 2 thirds times x plus 3. And then you just apply distributive property. y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. Plus 1. Where's my plus 1? Oh, and I have that plus 1 over there. Thank you. Good catch. So our answer is y equals 2 thirds x plus 3. Does that look like kind of what we did in x and y's? Yes, it does, right? Positive slope, y-intercepts around 3. That is what we call eliminating the parameter. So what we did is we eliminated that third variable, t.